Welcome to Goodnight Tales. Kind Dinosaurus In a lush, vibrant forest where the trees stretched tall and the rivers sparkled like jewels, there lived a group of colorful dinosaurs. Leading this extraordinary pack was Trixie, a wise and kind Triceratops. Her scales shimmered with dazzling blues and greens, casting a magical glow wherever she went. Trixie had a best friend named Spike, a playful Stegosaurus. Spike was known for the spectacular plates that lined his back, glowing in stunning gradients of red, orange, and yellow. Together, they were the heart of the forest, always looking out for their friends and ensuring everyone felt happy and included. One bright, sunny day, the forest was alive with excitement as all the dinosaurs prepared for a grand party. They decorated the trees with colorful leaves, and the ground was covered in soft moss where they could dance and play. Dinosaurs from all over the forest came to showcase their unique talents. Some sang beautiful songs, while others performed graceful dances. It was a day of joy and celebration. But amidst the laughter and music, a soft, mournful cry echoed through the trees. Trixie and Spike paused, their ears twitching as they listened closely. The cry belonged to Trini, a young ankylosaurus who often felt lonely because she didn't have any friends. Her tough, armor-like skin and the clubbed tail that she used for protection made her different from the other dinosaurs, and she often felt like she didn't belong. Trixie and Spike immediately set off to find Trini. They followed the sound of her cries until they found her by a small, quiet stream, tears glistening in her eyes. With gentle words, Trixie and Spike approached her, offering comfort and kindness. Why are you crying, Trini? Trixie asked softly, lowering her head so that her eyes met Trinus. I don't have any friends, Trini sniffled, looking up at Trixie and Spike. I don't think anyone likes me. Trixie's heart ached for the young Ankylosaurus. That's not true, Trini. You are special just the way you are. Sometimes, we just need to be brave and show others our true selves. Spike nodded in agreement. Come with us to the party, Trini. Everyone will be so happy to meet you. Hesitantly, Trini followed Trixie and Spike back to the celebration. As they entered the clearing, the other dinosaurs paused, curious to see who their new friend was. Trixie and Spike led Trini to the center of the party, where they introduced her to everyone. This is our new friend, Trini, Trixie announced with a warm smile. She's strong, brave, and kind. We're so lucky to have her here with us. The other dinosaurs, seeing how much Trixie and Spike cared for Trini, welcomed her with open hearts. They invited her to join in their games, and soon, Trini was laughing and playing, her earlier sadness forgotten. For the first time, Trini felt like she truly belonged. From that day on, Trixie, Spike, and Trini became the best of friends. They explored the forest together, shared stories, and looked out for one another. And Trini never felt lonely again, knowing she had friends who loved her for who she was. <laughs>